Alrighty, one of the biggest openings that we're going to see probably in this season is a film that's opening this weekend called Crazy Rich Asians. We haven't seen a film that's been predominantly Asian cast for about 25 years. Yeah, and it's getting a big boost, as you might expect, from the Asian American community, but not maybe in the way you would think. So to talk about that in this hashtag gold open movement, we brought in David Chen, a Seattleite here who is David. part of this national movement. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Explain to us what gold, hashtag gold open is. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, hashtag Gold Open is this idea that uh, Crazy Rich Asians, first film in 25 years uh, from Hollywood to have a predominantly Asian and Asian American cast in lead roles. Uh, and we want this movie to have a huge opening weekend. Mm -hmm. um, opening weekends are how Hollywood determines you know, uh, how well a film does. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to vote with our dollars uh, to tell Hollywood these are the kinds of stories that we want to see on the big screen. One of the great things about the movie is not just that it has a predominantly Asian cast, but it's a romantic comedy, which is a sort of a, a mainstream theme. Isn't that also part of the thing that makes this a big deal? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, ideally there are uh, a, a dozen movies out in theaters this year <laughs> right. that have, you know, Asian American cast and there's like sci-fi movies and romantic right. comedies. Uh, but I think, yeah, having a romantic comedy, recontextualizing it uh, with Asian Americans, uh, the movie <sighs> takes place largely in Singapore, but it deals with uh, an Asian American protagonist. By an Asian director. Uh, yeah, Asian director, uh, Asian writer. Uh, that is very powerful because you see something that you normally see, romantic comedy, you know, people have seen lots of them, but recontextualized with uh, a different cultural context. Mm -hmm. Some uh, of the actors in the film have done this, uh, Olympic gold medalists, uh, or uh, I should say Olympic figure skaters who have medal have, are doing this. Why did you want to do this here in Seattle? I think, uh, for, for me, it was understanding that the writer and director of this film had taken a big chance on uh, releasing this movie through conventional Hollywood studio. Uh, Netflix had offered them millions of dollars. They turned it down because they wanted us to be able to see ourselves on the big screen. And uh, they rolled the dice on it. And so I thought to myself, like, what am I doing to help support uh, the cause of diversity on the big screen? And uh, buying out a movie theater was one thing, one reasonable thing that I thought I could do to help. <laughs> How has it been received? What kind of reaction have you gotten from friends um, and on social? Everyone has been so extremely supportive, I think, um, because they understand that the Asian American community sees this movie as a really big deal. Mm -hmm. So I've been really happy with it. All right. You know, it cost a pretty penny, and it is tomorrow afternoon, downtown Seattle. And if people are interested, they're watching this, the tickets, you've given them all away, right? Yeah, it's all gone. But I would recommend you go see the movie anyway. Right. It's like a regular movie. <laughs> I've already pre-ordered it on, on demand. The previews of it are hilarious. It's getting great reviews. Yeah. So, awesome. not appreciate to be missed. You, uh, joining us and a great thing that you're doing for a lot of people who are going to enjoy it tomorrow in downtown Seattle. Thanks to this man, David Chen. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, David. And great now Matt Granite can